Hey guys, what is up? Blameon13 here and welcome back to another OBS tutorial video. So today we are going to be diving into how you get your donation goal widget set up on your OBS streaming screen. Uh, we're just going to go in and a quick tutorial show you how to get it set up. The website, what you need to download, all the bits and pieces and all that fun stuff. So I hope you enjoy it, I hope you find it informative and uh, don't forget to watch, like and subscribe. So the very first thing we need to do is head over to your browser. You want to, we want to be going to Streamlabs. So you type in Streamlabs into your, your browser and then we want to go into Streamlabs.com which will probably be the first one that appears. Then you want to log into either your Twitch account or your YouTube account. Uh, for me it is my YouTube account. Obviously uh, pick your, your account there on YouTube. Put all your information in you and then sign in like you would sign into your YouTube or anything else. And then up here on the left hand side is where you're going to find all your good stuff that you need. What we want to do is click on download Streamlabs OBS if you haven't already. And then as obviously I already have it downloaded so you can save it to your solid state drive or your hard drive or wherever you want to go. And then that's your first step. Once you do that there we'll move on to the next bit. So now once we have downloaded Streamlabs OBS for your operating system, Windows or OS X, we need to download Stream Labels, which you will find in your uh, in your dashboard, you will find Stream Labels. You will download this obviously the same way you've downloaded your Streamlabs OBS, choosing your operating system, mine will be Windows, and then it runs exactly the same. Then we just uh, save it to you wherever you need it to go on your PC, your personal preference, and go through the same process. And then once uh, Stream Labels is installed on your computer, that's where we will be able to include text on your stream, such as follower counts, uh, last donations, which we are talking about today, and there's many others as well. So once we have Stream Labels installed, this is just worth noting then it will. Uh, it will prompt you for an output directory location, which is uh, which is simply uh, where you want all the information to be saved on your computer. Uh, once you set that up, I recommend it on your uh, your hard drive, naming it maybe uh, stream labels, uh, live stream, widgets, donation goals, or whatever you want to name it, so you know where to save such files as the your last subscriber count, or the name of your last subscriber, or the donation goal or the name of the person that donated last uh, yeah so the output directory is as important to save that somewhere that you'll be able to get to it quite easily so the next thing we need to do is head back over to streamlabs.com uh, we want to head over to the dashboard on your left hand side of the screen here and you want to go over to all widgets now this is where we're going to get down for the, the donation goal as you can see we have the little widgets there alert box chat box uh, all, all the other fun stuff here at the bottom. Our, the one we're interested in is donation goal. So we want to head over to donation goal. As you can see, I already pre set up mine. But uh, you can change that there to whatever you need it to be. Title will be a like, Gallo streaming deck. Uh, it could be a setup for maybe a new keyboard or a nice new mouse or a nice new monitor or screen or even a nice new PC or computer or whatever you want. This is the goal that you're looking for with your donations. So I have mine set up for an Elgato streaming deck. As you can see, it's forty dollars in. And the out of <coughs> pardon me, the goal is one hundred dollars, which is really meant to be one hundred pounds, which is how much an Elgato streaming deck is in the UK. So that's my goal at the moment. So cool amount will be one hundred dollars. Current amount is forty dollars. Days remaining, thirty-four days to go, and. Uh, uh, you could just reset it or put it to 100 days or whatever. Maybe you've got 7 days to reach your goal. That depends how popular your channel is. Then once you have that good stuff set up then. It will generate a little widget URL. Which you will need to copy. In order for you to get it onto your OBS. Which we'll go on to next. So we'll move on to that. Streamlabs.com, you want to head over to your widgets, you want to head to donation goals, you want to set up your your donation widget here to everything that you need, whatever suits you for, make sure you get your text and your, your little counter there. 
And yet we'll move on, we'll go show you how to get on the OBS next. So now that we are back in our OBS stream screen here, we want to choose, well you need to choose what scene you would like to add your donation going into. As you can see I have multiple scenes here, but live stream, I'm assuming is where you want to be. You'll head over to sources, and then you want to add a new source, and then the source we are looking for is browser. So you can name your browser, donation goal. Donation goal, uh, new, and then hit OK. And it'll prompt you for a little uh, URL, which is we seen back at the streamlabs.com website. You want to paste that in. And then you can obviously change your width and your height. You will maybe tinker with that there, whatever suits your need. We're not going to get into that detail because that's something that you could do by yourself. And then uh, use custom frame rate control via OBS. All these things are all something that you need to tinker about. Whatever preference you have, size, uh, color, all that fun stuff. And then there we have it. And it brings up this little uh, box, and then you can crop this box to uh, down to whatever size you need it to be. We're not going to get into too much detail. This is just a quick tutorial showing you how to get your your, your live count up. And then you can set out here what I want to go right at the bottom of my screen. Under my text, I have this set up for, uh, to welcome the last subscriber to my channel. Uh, welcome, Starlina. And then I set this just nicely underneath that. And then that's her setup for me. And this is perfect for me, really, because that's... So here you can see, uh, that's a little clip here of a, a game that I was playing previously there. I have set up there now. It does look uh, right at the bottom there. Once you've set up your right size and you've cropped it down, and then it looks there, and then it it, it, uh, it looks pretty cool. I like the way it looks at the moment. Maybe I'll change it. Maybe I'll change the colors. Uh, I haven't had any donations recently, so it's been stuck there for a while, which is kind of annoying. Sometimes I like to add a few pounds here and there, and it just, uh, it just increase the bar and the go to a bit. And uh, just it's the port notice the run uh, the stream the stream labels app that we downloaded. It is can you do, make sure it's running during your live stream, or this won't update live. But if someone donates to your channel, you would like to see it live, so you could shout out, thank them, and then also make sure you have uh, your your setup, your PayPal, and everything set up to YouTube, so your stream labels will recognize it once. Your donations done. I like to do shout outs to people that have donated, live streams, call out your names, uh, support the channels, maybe uh, maybe do raids on their streams also, which is good. Yeah, so that's just a quick show in there of what it looks like on the screen during end game. Looks pretty cool. Guys, thank you for watching. This was just a quick tutorial. It wasn't too in depth. I hope it was useful to anybody that is looking to set up their OBS. That was the how to set up your live subscriber count on your OBS stream screen. Uh, I try my best there to get as much detail in as possible. I am not a professional at this. I am just learning like everybody else. I like making these videos. Hopefully I could help somebody along the way. I used a ton of these videos trying to figure out how to do it myself. It was a long and arduous process but Getting there at the end, I'm quite happy with the results that I'm getting. Thank you anybody that has stayed this long to watch the video. Very much appreciate it. Please like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And uh, just to show some support, that would be great. Uh, if you leave a comment under the video, I'll be sure to check you out. I will also support back. Uh, I hope you are all having a good day, a good week. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you all in the next one.